Welcome to the Creating Discussion Forums demo. In this demo, you will learn how to build discussion forums in which discussion topics can be placed and organized. By the end of this demo, your discussion area will be organized and ready for your topics. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click the Discussions link. Notice the tabs at the top. Discussions list, subscriptions, group and section restrictions, and statistics. We are working in the discussion list tab. Discussions are organized into forums. Topics are created under forums, and messages are placed into topics. Forums can have several topics, and each topic can have many messages. Click on the New drop-down button and select New Form Link. Under the Properties tab, in the Title field, type in the name of your form. Example, Chapter 1 Discussions. In the Description field, type in the overall idea for this form. Example, All Chapter 1 Discussion Assignments are found in the topics below. The form is a broad category that helps organize the discussion area. Once you have finished creating your forms, the next step will be to make topics to go in the forms. A topic is where you will want to create a written description of the assignment. Under Options, Allowing Anonymous Messages means that students can choose to leave messages anonymously. Even if this is unchecked later, the message will remain anonymous. Checking messages must be approved before being displayed means that the students will not see the messages they post until the instructor approves them. If you select this, you should tell students on which day the messages will be approved. Each approval or rejection must be done manually. Checking users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads in each topic means that a student must create an original message or reply to the topic before they will be able to read any threads written by the other students. Next you have visibility and locking options. Click on the arrows to show or hide these options. A form can be visible or hidden, and you can choose the dates for visibility. If a form is locked, the student can read existing messages, but cannot post a message of their own. Under the Restrictions tab, in the Release Conditions section, you may add special circumstances for when a student may view your form. In other words, under which conditions will this form be released to students? If you need help setting up release conditions, view the Creating Conditional Releases demo. Under Group Restrictions, you can make the form visible to only certain groups that you have created. When you are finished creating or making changes to your form, Click on the Save and Close button to return to the Discussion List page, or Save and Add Topic to create a topic for this form. Your new forms display at the bottom of the Discussions List. You have now successfully created a Discussion Form.